What's up ghouls and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you my um, what's in my bag video. This is such an old video, like literally every YouTuber has done it. Um, but I've seen a couple of YouTubers recently do this tag, like Toxic Tears, Emily Boo, Evelina Forcell, I think that's how you say her name. Um, so I wanted to give it a go. Um, yeah, it's just like a quick, chill, easy video to film. So I'm all about that today. <laughs> I've had such a freaking stressful day. Oh my God. Like, it's not even that bad. It's just like, oh. so you know, like when your anxiety is properly playing up, like for the last week, my anxiety has been like pretty bad um, in terms of like leaving the house and stuff. And today I had to go and register at the doctors. So I hyped myself up all morning. Went and did it and I was feeling really good, loving my life. And then when I'm like walking to and from like down the high street and stuff, my anxiety was getting really, really bad. Especially like self-conscious of all these cars going past. And then like when you get like people like beeping and stuff, I was like freaking out, but I had my earphones in. So I was like, just turn the music up, just listen to Pierce the Veil, you know, be chill. And then when I was walking back home, this like group of, what do you even call like gypsies, travelers, I don't know what you call them, started yelling at me and they're like, it's not Halloween. Your mom must be so disappointed. Look at the fucking state of you. And I was like, <laughs> so I just like turned my music up full volume, put my head down and like scuttled home. And now I vowed I'm not leaving the house again. So here we are staying in my house for the rest of my life. Um, I'm filming in a slightly different location, I'm on my sofa because I need space for all the stuff that's in my bag. Uh, what you can see behind here is my like curtains and stuff, these are from Ikea if you're interested, it's super cute. And my studio is right behind those curtains but it's a mess so the curtains are closed. And I have matching cushions to my curtain. Let's get into it because this is going to be a long video. So my bag is the... I don't actually remember what it's called, but it's from Killstar. So it looks like a Happy Meal, but it's the Unhappy Meal. Um, it's like a relatively small bag. It goes up by two poppers, and it has like this little back guy at the top. That's like the M for McDonald's. And then on the back, it says McGoth, and it says Killstar on there. And it comes with this like gunmetal chain thing. It's not like silver, it's like a dirty silver, so like gunmetal. Um, yeah, I think this bag was around 30 or 40 pounds, I don't remember, but um, my dad got it for me for Christmas two years ago. Um, I'm obsessed with this bag, I use it all the time, this is my absolute go-to, and you would be surprised at how much shit you can fit in this bag, like, holy fuck, <laughs> a lot of stuff. It is full to the fucking brim right now, I need to stop swearing, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, so normally I have this little dude on the bag. This is a hand sanitizer um, charm keyring thing which is from Spooky Box Club and then I just have like a random cheap sanitizer in there. Yeah, pretty cool but like sometimes if I have my earphones they get caught on him and stuff like that so then I just tuck him in the bag if he's getting in the way. So I'm just going to pull stuff out which can go straight to the bottom. I've not emptied this bag in I don't even know, too long. So let's just go. Right, the first thing on the top is my keys. Um, so I have a couple of key rings, not that many. The first is this Killstar. Um, I don't know if it's like leather or faux leather, I'm not sure, but it came with one of my bags. I think it may have been that bag that it came with. Um, so it was like a little freebie, so I just clipped that on my keys. Um, and then I have this key ring here. Oh, wrong way around. It says shell yeah obviously every mermaid needs that in their life and then these are my keys for work these are my keys for home and then i have like this really dirty little care bear with a little bell on it which um i found at work so i kept it <laughs> um and then this little half a house thingy which i showed in my favorites video um this was from jake's mum, and then it has Let's see if you can see it which way around is it that way? My name engraved on the back, so Jake has the other half and she got us those because we have our first flat together, so that was really really cute. So they're my keys. The next thing is huge, it's a reusable shopping bag. Um from Chester Zoo. She looks like this and we bought it when we went to Chester Zoo, obviously. Um, yeah, it's just, I like it because it's black and it's the only like reusable shopping bag I have that's black. And I freaking love animals, so I thought I'd carry that around. 
inside is a receipt from the co-op for sliced rolls and oh toilet roll. I was like, what the fuck is a soft buff tiss bathroom tissue? I get it. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Receipt from the co-op. Next we have a little charm bracelet. Um Show you the charms, this is so difficult to show. Um, this was a gift from Jake for Easter. Um, it's got like little spooky charms, like a little witch on a broomstick, a black cat, a cauldron, and then a little circle that says B on it, B for blaze. Um, I think this was from Etsy, but I wouldn't have a clue on the seller. If you guys are interested, I can find out from Jake and let you know. But yeah, super, super cute. Um, then we have my purse. I'll take my ID out. Do I need that? I don't know what I can show you. This. There we go. I'll keep that in the front. Um, so my tiny little purse. It's from Spooky Box Club, and I have three Spooky Box Club charms on there. I have a little dead cute love heart thingy, a broomstick, and a little smiley pumpkin. And then it has this weird clippy thing on it, but I don't use that. And then in the front compartment, I keep like stuff that I need a lot. So I have. What do I need to cover here? I just cover like. That. Um, my provisional license, and that is my face. Pretty nice. <laughs> That's what I used to look like. It hideous. Um, it has my actual name on there too, Jody. How gross. Um, I don't have a full license yet. Sad times. Uh, next thing I have is my uh, rail card. I got this free when I got a student account with my bank. That lasts for like four years, so that's pretty cool. I've got a card that you can use on the buses. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. The buses in like Southampton and Winchester and stuff like that. I rarely ever use this, but I had it um, when my dad was in hospital. I had to go and visit him. I have a card here for Lucky Black piercing, suspension, hand push and machine tattoos. Uh, basically, I was walking down the road and a guy stopped and asked me about my cheek piercings and he gave me this card because this one's infected and he was like telling me how to look after it and he said if you have any more questions, contact me and then gave me his card, which was pretty random but, you know, nice of him. <laughs> I have a Marilyn Manson top trump. These were Kerrang! Rock Legends top trumps and for some reason I have the Marilyn Manson one in there. Ultimate top trumps fact. Manson claims to have had a supernatural experience as a teenager. He and a friend read from an occult text in an abandoned house in the woods. They fled when they heard a loud crash from another room. There you go. Things you need to know in life. Then in the main compartment of my purse, oh god I have so much crap in here. So I have my bank card, which I'm not going to show you, <laughs> my Mars membership card, which is the Metal and Rock Society at um, Solent University. It's got my name, the course I'm doing when it expires, and my number. That picture there is from a photo shoot I did for my friend, and so the Mars committee picked the, the pictures, and Jake was on the committee, and he was just friends with the guys on the committee, so they picked a nice picture, thank god. <laughs> um, I have an IKEA family card here. Basically, you just get money off the food and stuff like that, so definitely need that. <laughs> I have my Boots Advantage card. I've had this probably for like eight years or something ridiculous. I rarely take it out with me, so I'm pretty impressed it's in there. I have the Boo Avenue VIP card, which I got because it's pretty. I've literally only ever spent two pounds in there in my life. Um, I have my NUS card, which is... Um, the National Union of Students or something. I don't know, basically you pay for this card. I think I paid like 15, 25 pounds for this. It lasts for three years and you get discount in loads of places, including like Domino's, Co-op, um, I don't know, loads of random places except this and you get like anywhere up to like 30% off. I have this card from Bills, which is enjoy a bottle of wine on us up to the value of £20 when you order two main courses. Pretty cute, that was from when I went to breakfast with my family and they gave me a couple of those cards at the end. A couple of receipts here. Um, a receipt, oh from the charity shop I went to today, I bought some boots for £7. And then another two receipts from another charity shop um, and it was these little hot pants for £4. 
Next I've got some Apple earphones that are really really dirty and tangled and I'm not even going to show you a close up because oh my god that would be rancid, they are old and dirty, just don't even think about that. Um, next I've got 8 stars craft jars, these were £1.50 and I bought these from the works to use in my makeup um, to like add to like eye looks, I thought they'd be pretty cool. Uh, have a receipt here from Sainsbury's and um, I bought corn thins, Alpro chocolate desserts, lotus spread, oh is that Biscoff, yeah Biscoff spread, um, chocolate soy milk, butternut squash chips and white bread, pretty exciting stuff there. Uh, I have a Nivea hand cream, anti-age care, and it has UV filters, which is why I bought it, because I don't want older people hands at the age of 20. Um, it smells like old people, so <laughs> that's kind of nice. I use this because when we do deliveries at work, I sanitise like every five minutes and then my hands get really dry, so I keep sanitised, not sanitised, I keep hand cream on me because I don't like old dry hands. Next I have my EOS lip balm, this is the mint and vanilla one that I've talked about in another video, um, love this, so nice, so moisturising. Um, I have here a book of spells and I got this from Spooky Box Club, it's actually got nothing in it, it looks like this um, and then it has like a little pencil in there um, and I popped this in my bag like a month or two ago whenever I got it so I could write down like little I don't know, any little notes regarding magic and I've yet to use it but I'm sure it'll come in handy at one point. Um, I have the Sally Henson, Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthener because I'm trying to grow my nails out um, and I apply this religiously like three times a day. Um, I'm a little bit obsessed with that. I have some Neurofen Plus and I only have, is that, yeah I only have two left, sad times always good to carry that around with you. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Quad in Smoke, which I've shown so many times, I'm obsessed with this, it's so good. Um, it's so good to carry around because I always have some kind of black eyeshadow on, um, so I can top that up. I use that for my contour and then it's got like a mirror as well, so that's super useful. I have a pack of Palma Violets here. Um, they are so good. No one in my family likes them because they say they taste like perfume, but I am obsessed with these. And if you've ever tried a Palm Violet Shake Away, if you haven't, try one because it's so good. I have a Cat Kids Thing Key ring here, which is super dirty, with a Tinkerbell key on it, and that is my key for my mum's house. I keep that separate because I don't use it that often, but it's just in my bag. I have these cards here. I can't remember what, the, I want to say they're Zen cards, um, I got these in the first ever Spooky Box Club I got and basically they have like different um, symbols on and you have to use your clairvoyant skills to test what is, to, like to know what is on the other side of the card so I hold it up and be like, use your clairvoyant skills right, so you have either a plus, wiggles, a circle, a square, or where's the last one? A star. What do you think the card is? Right, let me grab one. Use your clairvoyant skills. What is the card? What is behind this card? It's a cross. If you got it right, tell me down below, and then that means you're a super clairvoyant witch. <laughs> oh, where's the hairband? There it is. I keep these in my bag for when I'm really bored, like waiting for like an appointment or whatever and then I can just test my skills while I'm waiting. Um, I have a pen in the bottom, a little black pen that looks like that is running out. I have an information leaflet because I signed up to the doctors today so it just tells you all of like the reception times and loads of random stuff. I should probably keep that. Um, yeah, loads of information there. I have a water bill because you have to bring proof of address thingy um, to the doctors, so I have that. I have a pack of chewing gum, extra cool breeze, that is my favourite chewing gum, it's so nice. I have Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Witches, which I'm wearing now. 
and I have a compass necklace from a Pierce the Veil pre-order kit um, from the Misadventures album. Don't know why that's in there. And that is everything for the main bit. And then there's like a little pocket inside there. So there's a couple of bits in there. Um, I've got a tattoo choker with nothing on, just a random choker on its own. Ooh. A Instagirl Intense Liquid Lipstick in the shade Instaglam. This is from Primark. And it's like a little grey colour. I really, really like that. I've got 5p. I'm rich. Um, NYX's Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Corset. This is so pretty. It's such a good, like, corpsey colour. I have a sanitary towel. Pretty nice. And a £5 voucher for Debenhams that expired on the 12th of July. Sad times. Um, an appointment card for Titanic for oh my first tattoo. How cute! And then the receipt for the fifteen pounds I had left to pay on the day of the tattoo. Oh my god, I'm keeping them forever. And that is everything that was in my bag. Now you have more of an insight into the bullshit that I carry around. Definitely need to clear that out. That is just insane. Like if you can see. The amount of stuff that was in that bag that is just vulgar <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um comment down below tell me if you enjoyed it or not if you have any ideas of other videos you would like me to film then let me know because i want to produce content that you guys want to see um comment down below if you got the card right from your clairvoyant skills because i'd love to know uh, please make sure that if you enjoyed this video and you like the channel and stuff like that then you like and subscribe because it's really going to help me and I'm trying to grow this channel as much as possible. I've been doing YouTube for almost a year now like properly doing it not just like randomly uploading but almost properly doing it for a year and we're at like 600 subscribers which is super super cool but I would love to push and grow this channel even more so share the video, subscribe, like, comment, stuff like that. Um, that'd be really really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye